Hey guys, Captain Stu Calder here at Gold Leader Guide Service based out of Wilmington, North Carolina. And today I'm going to be pouring some baits. I'll be pouring some Gold Leader custom baits. And if you get a chance, go to my Instagram page at Gold Leader Fishing and you can check out all my baits. I'll put them on there first. You can scroll through, see what I got. And if you want to pick you up a few, message me. We'll get everything squared away. But yeah, I'm going to go in there and we'll pour some clear water baits today. I've got a couple buddies fishing a little north of me here that need some clear water baits for these trout that are back in the creeks and the clear water. So I'm going to pour them something uh, I think that's going to work for them pretty good. If you get a chance, how about subscribing to the channel? It'd be greatly appreciated. And give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment in there. I'm trying to build the channel a little bit and all that stuff really helps out a whole bunch for me. So I appreciate you being with me here today. Let's run on into the garage back there and let's get a few of these uh, baits poured up. Thanks a lot, guys. All right, guys. So now I've got my colors mixed up. This is a clear, very clear, very translucent color. I don't want there to be too opaque because remember, this is a clear water, clear water color. I'm using the, I don't know how you pronounce it, but that one. C-E-R-I-S-E, -E, Cerise, maybe, 211. I put some 40 thou hex cut emerald green lure works glitter in. A little bit of 40 thou hex cut black by lure works. And then a little bit of uh, dead on plastics, dead flake sky in the 40 thousands also. Now remember, this is a clear water color, so I'm trying to get it set up for guys fishing back in this clear water. So I want it to be very translucent and not too much flake. I don't want too much to the bait. So let me get everything set up over here. Here's my run set. I'll get the camera all situated here. Hopefully I don't bounce you around too much. Back you up just a touch, because, and let's see, pour right in here. All right, so now this is just one color. So what I'm gonna do is start pouring. Oh, oh, I must have a hair in there. This one went horribly wrong. All right, let's try, there we go. That looks a lot better. Try to get it just slightly over so that when it cools, it'll have a nice flat top on it. That first one there, I'll have to keep, I might just keep that one for myself. But this should be an excellent clear water bait. Let the fleck do the work, give it the texture. All I did is basically tint it, because if you know that color, it is a very translucent color, and I put about six or seven drops in here. All I wanted to do was to tint this bait slightly off clear, and then just a little bit of flake in there. I didn't use very much, because I don't want to overpower this bait. You gotta remember, this water is gonna be really clear this time of the year in the winter time and that's what this bait is geared towards super clear water fish that are probably cold all right so except for that first one they all went pretty well so i'm going to finish pouring some of these out and this will be the first color i've got another color in mind for next at the end, we'll do the reveal, see kind of what we got. But yeah, if you're interested in some of my baits, please go to my Instagram account, Gold Leader Fishing. Check out all my baits there. Again, excuse me, this is a clear water bait made for cold water, clear water, and I think it's going to work really good. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'm going to pour these out. I'll bring you into the next round. All right, so I got my first round poured, and now I'm on to my second round. So you can see I've made this very translucent again and what I used this time was this stuff is great avocado 115 
Really great bass. I like that stuff a lot. Uh, Lure Works, 40 thousandths, hex cut, great. Lure Works, hex cut, 40 thousandths, chartreuse. Dead on plastics, dead flake, sky it's called. It's like a sky blue, it's really pretty. And this stuff, dead on flakes, I mean dead on plastic, snow shine. I like that, man, that's great stuff. You can kind of see it. So I'm going to show a little pour run right here. Let me get the camera set up here. Hopefully I don't get you too bad. Get it right there. That's probably pretty good. Yeah, that's work. All right, so let's get this going. I'll pour a few, and then like normal, I'll bring you in at the end when we do the whole thing at the end. So these are our shad tail. Oh yeah, and I'm using a dead on plastics swim bait blend. And like I said earlier, I don't want it to be too opaque. I want it to be clear. Because these are going to be a clear water bait for this winter. Because in the winter time, the water gets really clear. So this is a ball tail right here. This one's a little bit different than those other ones here. Ooh. A little tougher to pour, but great bait. Let's get this one down here. And this one has a little bit different color pattern. Where the other last one I poured was that tinted pink. This one is tinted green. And I just want to have a couple of colors for the guys when they go up into that clear water so they've got something else they can try there all right so i'm going to finish pouring the rest of these guys out that's kind of a quick shot of what i do i'll pour them out and i'll bring you in at the end here thanks for joining me. sure to appreciate it all right so i'm done pouring everything i got all my baits laid out here they are cooling now I was going to try to get a few shrimp when I saw that color. I was like, oh, that's going to be a really pretty shrimp. But I ran out of plastic. Don't feel like mixing up more. I'll do that. Let me know if y'all want me to do that in a later video. Um, leave that down in the comments for me down there. And I'll run that one maybe in a shrimp. I think that's going to be a really good looking shrimp. So this is a avocado with uh, some flake and some stuff in it. This is a cerise, I think that is. So my first combo was this, Snow Shine by Dead On Plastics, Lure Works, uh, Cerise 211, I guess that's how you pronounce it, Black 40 Thou Hex, Emerald Green 40 Thou Hex, Dead On Plastics, Sky Blue. The second pour that I did, the green pour, was this combo right here in the front. So again, dead on snow shine just to give it a little sparkle. Avocado, 115. I like that. This is Lua Works Chartreuse Hex 40 thousandths. Lua Works Grape 40 thousandths. Dead on flake sky color. 40,000. So that's my combos that I used. I'm going to let these guys cool down. When they cool, I'll start pulling a few, and then we'll have our review. Thanks for joining me, guys. Alright, guys. So we're back, and I was going to pour a couple shrimp if I had any left over, but I didn't have any left over, so I didn't pour those. But, you can see I've got some baits laid out here. They've all cooled down. And, uh, yeah, let's do a little reveal here and see how they turned out. Let's see. Let me turn this camera down. There we go. All right. Let's see how these guys here look. So this is, remember, this is a clear water color. So I don't want it very opaque. I want it almost, I want it very see-through. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. So this is the avocado with the purple, the blue flake, and the chartreuse flake in there. 
nice and transparent. I think that's going to be really nice and some clear water applications. Let me just lay that one right there. They seem to show up a little better on some black. Let me grab another one here. Let's grab a ball tail. I've got a ball tail mold here. Got a ball tail. Let's see. Let's see how the ball tail looks in it. Let's see which one here. Ah, let's do this one. This guy looks good. Oh yeah. So there it is in a ball tail. Just tinted off of clear is what I wanted. I don't want it to be, I don't want it to have a lot of color. I want the flake to do the work for me. All right, so this was our first one. This is the clear pink, pinkish tint to it. And let's see what this one did. Okay. Oh yeah. I mean, you can barely even tell that there's just a hint of pink in there. That's what I wanted. I basically wanted it clear with the glitter because of how clear this water is going to be. So that is, that came out really nice. So that's going to be a great clear water bait. Just enough to catch your attention with that off pink to give it some shape and size. The black flake and the blue flake in there. I think that's going to work out real well. Yeah. All right, I think I did those in a ball tail too, I did. So we'll pull these in a ball tail just to give you the same on both there. Now this one has a little more of the flake in it. Yeah. So those are pink tinted. All right. So now you can see them a little better. These are a pinkish tint. That cerise. And there's your green. Alright. So there they are. I'm going to pull all these guys out. And then, uh, yeah. We'll have a bunch of baits for everybody. So if you're interested, shoot me a message. We'll get you some good clear water baits. Alright. Thanks for joining me. And I will do a full reveal shot with all the baits pulled sitting there just right about now. All right, and there's the batch. Well, part of them. I still got a handful more to pull. But there they are. Get you a shot of some of the greens. Slow movement there so you can get a good look at them. Bring you over here to some of the pink. That angle right there. Yeah. All right. I'll have them ready for you.